We are back. So Dory is officially introduced as Sumeru's first Claymore user, and I'm really excited to be able to get her. She'll be available at the second half of the version yes. 3.0 update, so once her banner drops, I will be rolling for her. And what better way to start things off than to prepare for Dory? But no bleeds, how do you prepare for Dory when Sumeru isn't even out? Primal Gems. And what better way to get Primal Gems than to complete all relevant Archon and Story quests? This way, once Sumeru drops, there will be no quest restrictions and we can go straight to Sumeru. Before I do this, however, there were a few questions on the last video which were pretty interesting and I want to take some time to answer them. After getting Ito, what would be my most wanted character for this account? Diluc and Eula. I will have to go for Diluc since there's no PD for Diluc. The next question, which is all over in the comments of the last video, goes around of the lines of Put White Blind on Ito. Yes, Ito deals more damage on the White Blind, but our energy recharge is abysmal. We don't have the luxury to use C5 Goro and Ningguang to battery Ito, so the Sacrificial Great Sword is a necessity to act as battery in order to balance the elemental burst uptime. Better to have slightly weaker damage but have more consistent elemental burst than to have great damage but no elemental burst to use that damage on. You can get a Claymore Billet from leveling the Chasm to level 9. I've already played the Chasm. Why do I not buy the Battle Pass? Well, there's no need to. The Serpent Spine is a really good weapon, but as of right now, I don't really need it. And that wraps up the questions. Thanks everyone who made a comment. I do read the comments after all. Alrighty, last Archon quest. I want to quickly talk about some progress I've made since the last video. My Sereni Teapot is now level 10, and I've cleared Tatara Tales while fully clearing the second Inazuma Island. For the Teapot, I've been spending multiple weeks running up Realm Currency and the bottles which instant create furnitures. Once I had about 90 of them, I went and created many any new blue and purple furnitures, which boosted the trust rank all the way to level 10. Regarding the adaptive energy, I was able to quickly hit 20,000 by using the Omni Ubiquity Net you get from this lady to capture the nearby Kitsunes and buying additional animals from the teapot salesman, which appears on Fridays to Sundays. Getting the trust rank to level 10 has various benefits, but the main ones would be the ability to buy both the transient resin and the artifact XP bottles on a weekly basis. Both items will be helpful in the artifact grind which may be coming up so having these options available will make our artifact grind slightly easier. Regarding clearing the Mikage furnace and full clearing the second Inazuma island, since Tatara Tales is a rogue quest which is gated over 7 real life days, I figured it will be easier to just do the quest of recording and mention it once it's done. The rogue quests on other islands aren't time gated so I'll be doing them at a later date. And that's about it really since there are some people who are curious about these kind of stuff and whether if I do stuff off recording, yes I do. It's just that some of the content are time gated through actual real life days and it's a bit hard to squeeze those content into a video. This one shouldn't be too bad, but the, maybe the button stuff might be a bit confusing. We have Ito, Razor, Senyang, and Sayu in our team comp. Ito to deal any elemental damage, Razor to deal any physical damage. Senyang is there for her shield and her physical buff for Razor. And Sayu is just there for elemental infusions and also just to heal up the team with her elemental burst. After this Archon quest, we'll have Yaimiko, Ayato, Yelan, and Kazuha's story quest to do, and we will be done with every single. Archon and story quest. There were a few L's we had to take on the way, such as the Beidou tournament where you're forced to use the Traveler, and Raiden Shogun's second story quest where you're forced to use the Raiden Shogun multiple times during her quest, especially the final fight in the domain. But there were some major W's, such as using Sayu to activate Pyro before we have Xinyang, and using Ito's Kao to complete Zhongli's a story quest domain. However, the biggest one was definitely the archery challenge where I glitched out of the area to complete the challenge. Part of of me still can't believe I did that big brain strat because otherwise I wouldn't be doing this quest today. The L's I had to take so far were based on how the game literally forces you to use specific characters and you either have to figure some obscure BS way to progress or just straight up take the L and use the character. However, with Sumeru coming soon and with no Dendro Claymore characters coming up, I feel like once we go into Sumeru, we are going to hit the major roadblock. Swords only, you have Dendro's Traveler. Bows only, you have Kolei which will be free during her version 3. 
Royal event but claymores only there's no dendro claymore character so the only thing i could hope is anything dendro related hopefully elemental reactions can do some sort of an area burst damage which can help trigger dendro without actually having dendro a lot of it is going to come down to what actually happens in version 3.0 so hopefully by next week when version 3.0 drops we will have a way to survive sumeru or we just don't there's still other stuff we could do but sumeru is the big one and at the really least i should make an attempt on trying to survive that it has been a while since i last do this uh so how do we do this hmm uh what about these buttons oh um what do i do is it hmm all right yep okay okay i remember now we just need to go for the ones that has the buttons oh there we go i got it i got it oh my god joey chefs probably this team's only weakness physical resistance and dual resistance so we're just doomed to die here all right there we go that's the lights that's one down three to go okay we just need to click on the symbols that's on this platform and we should be able to do it okay i got it i got this and there we go that is the domain complete unless there's some obscure bs you have to do but i highly doubt that Wait, what? No, what? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not happening. It's not happening. I can't do anything. I'm not going to spend another 11 hours trying to figure this out. I'm going to do one glitch, which I think it might work. But if it doesn't, I'm just going to take the L. It glitched the team into the wrong domain. And yes, I am able to glitch my team into the test run domains. But that's not what we want here. We want to glitch this team into the chasm domain. But it's not working. So yeah, as I said, I'm just going to take the L. What? This time is Yang Fei and Ye Lan. Okay, well then. I guess I'm just going to have to take the L again. Because I can only glitch the thing once. I can't glitch it twice. It, it'll just kick me out of the domain. So even if I was able to glitch it the first time, I'm still going to have to take the L here. So I guess either way, you're just going to have to take the L. Okay, well, that's nice. Really? Xiao? How many times do I have to take the L in the Chasm domain? That is so sad. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's part of the story. And you're not really supposed to be using Claymore characters in these types of situations. But sometimes I just can't help it and just go. Alrighty. So that's the Chasm domain complete that was a complete disaster but we are just going to move on i guess we'll just start with year Lan's story quest this is the final one in lira i don't remember year Lan's domain having anything which forces you to use her even if there is we could just use sayu to infuse hydro unless it's like some ranged stuff like the one in Chao's domain but it should be just puzzles because something to do with the lanterns over here so that's the first section complete i remember there's a chest over oh wait never mind it's here all right let's see how many chests is in this labyrinth there's gotta be at least one. Oh, there we go that's one is there one behind here really there isn't one wow but look at this there's a second one over here and here we have our third exquisite chest the common chests are the ones that you need to go out of your way to find it and then the exquisite one is the one they just get really easily all right and that's the second thing done i believe all you need to do is to put the lanterns onto the bright areas i think i don't see any other way on how you're supposed to do this and there we go is there anything else oh yeah there is this fight over here so we're just going to use ito to get rid of the shield and then i will sub it with razor i believe this has a 50 percent physical resistance and a 70% chill resistance if i'm wrong please let me know in the comments and that's it at least hopefully it should be in and there we go yelan's story quest is now complete <laughs> Oh god, this place gives me the chills. It reminds me of the time I felt pain while doing the Raiden Shogun quest. At least this is not a fight which requires me to use actual brain cells. Wow, what a way to extend unnecessary playtime. Oh my god, why would you do this? I like how I'm just memeing on Ayato's quest. And then later on, I'll just get jabated. Somehow, the game will find a way to screw me over with another sword billet. Am I going to get my eighth sword billet next week? <laughs> Stop giving me a swap billet. Give me D-Look already, you know? For your worst, I've got three things I want from you. Firstly, give me D-Look. 
Second of all, stop giving me swap billets and give me a claymore billet. And finally, just make sure all the artifacts land on crit rate and crit damage. That will be extremely lovely and will make my artifact grind a lot easier. Alright, so hopefully, Hoyoverse will answer our prayers. But whether if it's actually going to happen is a completely different story, which I will never know the answer to. Come back next video where I am going to inevitably get a swap billet and... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can feel the pain already. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. All right, back at the game with the 007 movements. We're not gonna fail last time like the Raiden Sugar one. That was a complete embarrassment. Wait, why is this still seen? No, there's no animation cancel like last time. Wow, they fixed it. Huh? Bro. That is such a scam. All right, let's not screw this up this time. All right, well, I'm just going to casually go into these boxes. How the hell does that work? Yo, I'm so sneaky, dude. Don't mind me. I'm just hanging off some houses because this is a perfectly normal thing to do. I hope this is the last time I ever have to do any of these 007 stuff because I'm just not cut out for it. And that is the Ayato quest complete. There was no Ayato domain, so this was one of the easier ones. All right, Yaimiko's one should be pretty tame. I am a bit worried on the domain because it might tell us to use Electro like the one in Lisa's domain. That was a pain in the ass to complete, but Razor was the MVP. Alright, let's do this. So we have to activate these things. Do I just use Electro? Okay, it seems Electro works. So there's two more. I don't know where they are. I believe I just need to go around the domain to find them. There's one right there, but yep. So you have to get them up to the same level. Otherwise, it just won't activate. This is a pretty simple maze. I'm just going to activate this. See if I could get additional chest. Yep, there we go. That's the extra chest that I'm looking for. So there's just one more left and I need to get this up. There should be a button somewhere. Uh, yep, this seems like it. Yep, so I'm just going to activate this and just let it be while I fight these two monsters. Oh, oh I'm a dumbass. I should have waited. Oh, it's fine. There should be another way. Well then, I guess we just need to backtrack through this maze. All right, there we go. That was actually not that bad of a domain. I thought I had to use some range stuff like the one in Lisa's domain, but I guess not. And that's Yaimiko's story quest complete. Now we're just down to Kazuha's. Ame no ma yuya? Question mark. It's like as if I may have mistaken you for the wrong samurai. To be fair, he does look like just any other samurai. But he does wield a purple looking sword with ominous aura. So it is really hard to mistake him for someone else. Go to the blade testing venue. <laughs> Oh no! Am I going to be forced to use Kazuha? Because he was wielding the sword in the. Oh no, 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 no. God damn it! No, no. The, I, the <laughs> How many times do I have to take the L for this video? I mean, again, don't get me wrong, it's part of the story immersion. It's nice for the gameplay to stick close to the story, but this does not help my case here. You can technically burn these guys to death, but I'm not gonna do it. I've learned my lesson. Just take the L. Just take the big fat L. Well then, that was a complete disaster like the Chasm Quest, but there really isn't much I could do about it since you are literally forced to use a character in a domain, which makes everything significantly harder. And as of right now, I don't have the technical skill set to glitch the parties in the domain. No, I'm not doing this. No, Kazuha, you're not laying a finger on this guy. At least we've got a Wave Rider. The Wave Rider is Kazuha now. Just need to go out every now and then to make sure he doesn't lose the aggro, because otherwise it just resets the health. And that will just make my life 10 times harder. I'm going to allow this because it's the wave rider that's doing the attacks. And there we go. The duel is done. With Kazuha never lifting a single finger on the, uh, you know what, I don't even remember the guy's name anymore. <laughs> And there we go. That is the Kazuha's domain complete. And with that, wraps up all Archon and Story Quests, which will prepare ourselves for the Sumeru update. All right, please, Claymore Billet, please. No!